hey guys welcome back so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can create your own thank you card so if you'd like to see that please continue watching and if you find value in today's video then leave a like below so i can know that you do okay guys so the first thing i'm going to do here in canva is head to create a design and then i'm going down to custom size I'm going to keep this in inches right here. The other options are millimeters, centimeters, and you have this PX one. But <clears throat> I'm going to make it a five by four inches card. I entered these measurements earlier on when I was creating cards. So that's why we're seeing them there. So I'm just going to select create new design. So now that I'm in here, guys, I'm just going to go about entering some text right now so to get my text going guys i'm just going to select t on my keyboard and that will allow this text box to pop up and then i'm just going to type my text in that's my first word and i'm just going to add another text box by typing t again on my keyboard So now that I have that guys, I'm just going to drag and highlight both of them and then I'm heading over to the font style section here and the one that I'm choosing is Caitlin. Now if you want to, if you want, you know, you can play around with the textiles that we have here guys until you find one that works for you or you can head to text right over here so instead of pressing t on your keyboard like i just said i did you may browse through the font combinations that they have here and then select one that works for you so the next thing i'm doing here guys is to head over to elements and here i'm just going to search for some social media icons so the first one is instagram so i'm just typing that in and I'm working with this icon that's shown here you have so based on the version of Canva that you're using guys then you'll need to select the one that works for you I'm using the pro version of Canva so I'm selecting this one here so I'm just going to drag and place that over in this section the next one that I'm adding is Twitter so I want to keep the color the same so I'm just going to select this black one here okay lastly I'm going to have TikTok and in keeping with the theme that i have so far the color i'm just going to you know as you saw there i selected the black one so i'm just dragging so i'm just basically dragging to resize the icon the size as i want so i'm just going to add another text box here guys and then in it i'm just going to type in let's connect and i'm just going to drag the edge of the text box to make the words larger of course you could choose to go up here and um, press the plus sign or the minus one to to increase or decrease the size of the, the, the text that you have here so i'm just going to keep that there and then i'm going to add another text box and basically here you would place your business name so whatever your business name is you just add that in and i'm going to also change the font style as well oh let me just undo that okay so i'm heading up here and i'm going to use afra that's the font style i'm choosing to use right here So I want this to appear, well, you know, depending on your business name, you'd want it to show up beside each icon. So in this case, I'm just going to duplicate this two times. So I'm going to go up here to the three dots and select this icon that says duplicate. And I'm doing that twice. And then I'm placing it beside each icon. 
okay so that's looking good for now so let's connect that those are the social media pages okay so the next thing i'm adding to this guys is the website so whatever your website is you may want to also add that to your card so www dot your website name dot com So now that I have a good amount of text on my thank you card here, guys, I want to add a bit of some elements to it that's going to give it a bit of oomph. <laughs> I'm saying oomph. So uh, for that, I'm heading back over to elements and I just... So now I want some sort of border around the card, guys, not for all the sides, but I want one up here to the top right and one at the bottom left. So to get those borders, I'm heading to elements guys and I'm tapping in border. And I'm just going to browse through. So there are lots of different types. So depending on what you're looking for, you may go ahead and select the one that works for you. So, so you do have that option in terms of finding some border or if you have your own flowers probably you are an artist you're an artist and you draw or you know but you have your own design then you can always upload it and use it on your card so for this i am going to select this um i'm selecting this one that i used earlier on to you to use on the card so I'm just going to place it down here and just drag to resize it a bit then for the website i am just moving that out of the way for now and then i'm just going to duplicate this so i am just um just going to go up here to the top right and select this select this icon that says duplicate then just going to place this up here but i don't want it to look like that so i'm going to just highlight it and go to flip and select flip horizontal to get it more like that next i'm just going to change the colors so this is the beautiful thing about this specific floor icon here for this specific element that i chose is that i can change the colors so i'm going to choose black and a green color and for the white area i'm just going to select this purple looking one so i'm just doing the same thing to this up here i should have actually just changed it once and then duplicated but that's fine so changing the white to this color it's great i said purple but that's more like gray right listen guys i'm somewhat colorblind so <laughs> yeah Alrighty, so I'm just going to drag the word U and place it a bit closer and then the last bit of text that I'm going to add here is going to say for shopping with us. So that's what I have. Place that there. Well, I did it twice so let me sub I'm just going to delete one of the exclamation signs and then I'm just selecting everything so the good thing guys if you want to move more than one bit of text at a time you can just drag and select everything and then just drag it to wherever you want it to be on your card so that's looking good so this is what the card is looking like right guys no if you want to get an idea of different styles that you can use you know you want to see some other colors being blended and you know get a feel of some other styles then you can definitely head over to here where it says styles so for now i'm just going i want this page to remain as is so i'm just going to duplicate it by selecting duplicate page so now that i have this one here i'm just going to play around so i'm heading to styles right and over here there are different color combinations so if you click on any one of them then it changes up the color of your background your text and so on and even the the flowers right you notice that the colors are changing so you could just continue clicking <clears throat> selecting here shuffling right and each time you do so you get different color arrangements for your design which i think is pretty pretty cool so you know that gives you different design options to work with in terms of the colors and so on because look at the first one compared to this one 
you know so you could browse through find a couple that you like and then you know work with the one select the one that works for you so I'm just showing you a bit of what we have here and there are other colors if you scroll down or you can select colors at the top to get different colors that may work for you I think this is pretty pretty cool let me know if you guys will be trying this out as well um, <clears throat> as you design your cards Alrighty, so that's what I have for you guys for today. Feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comment section below, guys, and I will respond to you. Feel free to leave any suggestions that you may have about other videos that you'd like to see as well. And if there are videos that I can get up and running for you guys, then I'll do that. So. If you found value in today's video guys also leave a like below so i can know that you did until my next video i'll talk to you then goodbye